All right, what we have here is a pretty standard Yogg Druid deck. Uh, saw that plenty of times in Whispers of the Old God standard. With the addition of Arcane Giant, hopefully uh, this deck, which has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 16, 18 spells, and Raven Idol often gets spells, so 20 spells, Arcane Giant will get a significant amount of discount, uh, such that it's a value card. Victory or death. I must protect the wild. Okay, maybe greed isn't good, but science is good. How about that? Man, that is tempting. We'll try that. Greed is good. Oh, is there any way this Vandal stack I'll never? Wow. Okay. Greed is good. We'll see. Turn 2 Growth, turn 3 Thandral, turn 4 Nourish. Maybe it works. That would have been pretty awesome. <laughs> greetings. My greetings. Are you my master? So we need um, 3 damage. I play Wild Growth and I save this until turn 7. And that would mean next turn I play Druid of the Claw, and the turn after I play uh, Fandral Nourish when I have 7 mana and I go up to 9. That's pretty good. I'll do that. The next turn I'll play Druid of the Claw, and the turn after that I will play the Fandral Nourish. That'll mean I will have ramped for an extra 4 mana. Incredible. I wonder if he was thinking of. No, I'll go ahead and draw the claw and taunt here. Where shall I strike? Or charge? But Cthune, Cthune, Cthune. Eh, that's okay. Cthune, Cthune, Cthune will get Fandral, Nourish, Living Rist. Just doing that instead of wrath. Yep. Let's see, very few beasts in this deck. I'll take the torrent, I think. I don't know where that one. Nah, no, that's bad. Give me all the power. <laughs> um wow, that's pretty good too. And uh, mulch. Mm, mulch. My thanks to you. He's only at five mana. I'd love it if he spent an execute on this. Ah, oh, Cthulhu, Cthulhu, Cthulhu. Boom. Hmm. So I know it may seem uh, unusual not to faceless an arcane giant. Which is why I won't do it. I mean, I was, I was trying to play in... That was a very good card to draw. <laughs> He's only on 6 mana! I mean, if he Ravaging Ghouls and then executes twice, I kind of feel really bad, but that's about it. And if you account for how much mana he is at, it's like it's a 6 mana 16 16. But it's Warrior, he can actually face off against that, which is why Warrior is pretty good, I guess. Hmm. 
So I have to wonder on whether or not I want to play around in Brawl of the Living Rights. And I guess the answer is yes. Oh, he actually still has a lot of cards. If I lose this one, that'll be very unfortunate. Uh, praise Yogg at least. So I'm looking for a card draw, which is either Nourish or Yogg. Or Azure Drake. Or just big cards like Ancient of War. Or Arcane Giant, even though Arcane Giant only costs two. Should still be pretty good. That's worth mulching. Wow! You had to deal with both my 8-8s, eight just bear. Pay attention, class. I'm ready to learn. I'm ready to learn. Well, at least warriors have no answer to this board. None whatsoever. Nope. Nope. Don't. Don't. Don't say anything. No. Oh. Lucky, at least. Okay. Eh, maybe, uh, maybe this will hold them off. Or maybe this will win. It's two turn lethal here. It's true, if I'd taken Savage Roar, I would have been pretty good here. But I wanted to play around AoE. <sighs> Despair. Well, praise Yogg. Yogg will show me the way. Someday. How does the warrior manage to beat that opening? I mean, I should have asked, how does anyone manage to beat that opening? And then the answer is they're a warrior. I threw two big guys at him, and then a lot of guys at him. Oh, that's good. Hmm. Alright, we're going oh yes, we're going in here. Pay attention, class. Alright. Hey, dudes can do pretty sick things too. That was a nice set of draw. Pretty good card for me to see. Or hell, not that powerful. And wow! In this particular situation. Ooh! <laughs> this game is actually insane! Uh, I think I go face face into Yogg. I've cast a lot of spells. We're probably gonna die. Go! Promising. Pretty good yog. <laughs> wow, what a game!
Get it out! Get it out! Get it out! Get it out! Put this apple on your head! I think I go for this ooze here. The slime. Into Azure Drake, into stuff from there. Into probably swipe hero power. The land serves me. I'm going for no one. The light protects me. Especially while it's weak. My hero power is working currently. I'll try teacher into hero power. The longer I wait for the swipe, the better. Since then I can hold it against forbidden ritual. So the debate is really between Feral Rage hero power or Violet Teacher hero power. Uh... And maybe if I hero power, I should actually hero power the Dark Shard Councilman. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, it's probably the way to do it. Pay attention, class. Hit it while it's low, as opposed to when it's higher. Yep. My shield for Argus. The light protects me. Four seven zero two. That's pretty good. Pay attention, class. I'm ready to learn. For the I'm wild. ready to learn. I'm ready to learn. The longer you can uh, hold on to these swipes, the better you are off against Sue. But sometimes you just feel destabilized you not having that swipe. So I shall not use this swipe. I wonder. My shield for Argus. Unless necessary. And now looks like a decent time to use it. Hmm. Nope. Shock Testa. Swipe is never uh, useless. Well, sometimes it's useless, but it's very rarely useless. Like even here, it's really good. And finally, I use it to clean up the game. Forbidden ritual at last. Where's my swipe now? If only I'd saved it. I couldn't save it any longer than that. Oh, I'd forgotten that for Arcane Giant, I can actually have the wild growth be discounts also. Which is nice. Okay. <laughs> Spectacular, extraordinary. Buying or selling. <laughs> Do I have to? Well played. Hmm. Well 
play. All right, so 8, 16, 17, 18, 19. I have 19, right? Which is good because it stops them from tapping. 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. So we need 5 to win, which is pretty unlikely on one card. Hmm. He's played both Defender of Argus's, so it should be the best move to just go face. Again, maybe it was better to clear off that Councilman, since I probably had lethal next turn, too. Well, but then again... No, his two-card combo was probably better. Yeah. Bummer. Bummer. It, it was the right play! It was the right play. Denied tap. Alright, at long last, there is a Control Shaman deck. Uh, this deck existed before Terrazan, with Whispers of the Old Gods. And it had the same general idea, which is to play uh, cheap cards and then copy them with Faceless Manipulator, or play Ancestral Spirit on them and then copy them with Faceless Manipulator and or Faceless Shambler. So you have four mana 7-7s seven sevens, and then you have like four mana 7-7s seven sevens even more. Uh, one more card added into this deck is Arcane Giant. There are a lot of spells in this deck, so this could be another way to cheat out a cheap card similar to Thing From Below. I'm a little concerned with uh, the survivability of this deck, but we will give it a try. What? So unfortunately against rogues, your big cards just get sapped, but there are a lot of big cards here, maybe there's not enough of them to get sapped. One can only hope. An elemental destruction does hit that uh, Gadgetan Auctioneer, but it's possible I'll just play Earth Elemental and then get sapped and then be really sad. On the bright side, um, I can just play 0 mana 5-5 five five pretty easily in this matchup, and then play a 4 mana 5-5 five five with Taunt. I will be your death. Or play a 0 mana 5-5 five five and put Ancestral Spirit on it, and then play Faceless Manipulator on it. And 0 mana 8-8, eight eight, that's really good against Rogue. Hopefully I can, in a reasonable amount of time, play the 0 mana 8-8. Eight eight. There's also the slight benefit of playing Shaman with this deck, uh, because it's kind of disguised. It's hard to see this as a... I mean, people mulligan for aggro Shaman. Do I want to play a... nah. I was like, no, do I want to play 4 mana 5 5? Nah. Totem, totem, totem. The problem with playing just one is that one is pretty easily removed. So I want to have uh, something I can copy, pasta, basically. Two, three, seven. If I play the Earth Elemental, next turn I'll have four. You can just do two plus four, it's not bad. Pretty solid. Maybe the Arcane Giant is a really bad card. Initial impressions. Apparently a count of this deck spells is only, what, 1, 3, 5, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16? Yeah, and they're really slow to cast. I think this might be one of those decks where I quickly realize that it's not what I thought it was. This guy's toast. This was not my intention. <laughs> I've somehow managed to not cast a single spell yet. This uh might not be a good deck.
Feels priest, man. still lava shock face mm, that's pretty bad but if i do that then i'll have eight mana which is enough to thing ancestral and then faceless okay i should lava shock this anyways Yeah, I think I can see from just one game that Arcane Giant isn't all that it's cracked up to be. This is, in addition, a control match where I've actually gotten the chance to cast all these spells. So, turns out it's pretty bad, but that is the price of science. Oh, well, that was a pretty efficient play if there's no sap. Somehow. Eh, we'll draw into it. He probably was saving one for that one. Oh. Womp womp. Oh, still zero mana five five. He sapped to zero mana five five. It's good for me. Seven mana, eight, eight. That somehow lacks appeal. Pretty good conclusion. Seven mana, eight, eight. Arcane Giant, not very good in this deck. <laughs> Normally that would be really good since uh, that would be like sapping a very low card in theory, but unfortunately it is not the case here. Mm. I think I'm about to get Malagost. Okay, well it turns out if this deck doesn't actually get anything from Karazhan, uh, which would be the... What's the word? The Arcane Giants, then this uh, is at the same level as previous and it isn't actually that interesting. But I might retry this deck when uh, the 1-3 weapon comes out with the spell damage, and then build a actual control shaman, like a value shaman, kind of like the mage deck. That'll be interesting then, but it looks like uh, this is a quick retirement for this deck. Alright, so Miracle Rogue. Uh, this deck is a lot like the Malagos Rogue, except it also runs Arcane Giants. Let's see, this has 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 spells. What? Only 16? Oh no, 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 plus 2 for the Team Pillagers. 18. Yeah, I mean, the goal is basically to play two arcane giants and then conceal them, and then hit them for a lot. Now the main question is whether this is anywhere near better than Malagos, because the two arcane giants are basically taking the place of Malagos. Malagos adds five damage per spell that you're going to cast, 
And Arcane Giant is basically... And it's like meant for the end of the game with the way Arcane Giant works. It's basically also going to intend to add uh, 16 damage by hitting twice. But with Malagos, you're pretty much always uh, casting three spells also. Uh, therefore, I conclude that this deck is worse than Malagos Rogue. And therefore, I conclude that we're done with this test. I think Gang Up is way too slow. Or it could be a combo. You like play the Gadgets in, you play the Arcane Giant, and you gang up the Arcane Giant, and you draw a bunch of cards and you Arcane Giants. I think that's actually quite terrible. Uh, okay, cool. Well, that was a that was a really good scientific analysis of this deck.